right. Welcome, y'all. I'm Elise Bennon of marketing-mentor.com, and this is the sixth office hours of the Simplest Marketing Plan for 2024. And I want to very warmly welcome all of our new members who jumped in and took advantage of yesterday's webinar offer for my live summer course called Potential Clients on Tap with AI. I was thinking about this a lot this morning, uh, and this came out of part of the conversation we were having at the webinar yesterday uh, for the potential clients on tap with AI. This question about quality clients, looking for your what I called your best potential clients, which means high quality clients. And of course, we are all looking for quality clients and projects, right? But the thing is that quality is subjective and that means it's different for everyone. So basically what you have to do is tell the AI what you mean by quality and what's important to you. And that will allow the AI to find the people and the organizations that come closest to fitting your description of quality. That's what I mean when we say we are looking for higher quality clients and projects. So... What is quality? What is high quality? And how do you know it when you see it? One of the main ideas is that to me, the prompting is not give me the prompt and I'll use it. It's how do you think creatively to create the best prompts for you? And so really what we're going to try to do is take the words that represent quality to you and turn it into a question that can be part of a prompt that you then use with the AI to generate a list of companies or people or organizations, whatever it is you're looking for. I actually, and I, you know, part of the strategy is just ask AI what you should do and see what it says. And so I did ask AI, I said, how would I be able to tell someone who values quality from someone who does not? What signs should I be looking for? And what it said to me was attention to detail, prioritizing durability, willingness to invest, pride in ownership, and passion for improvement. And so those are really interesting ideas, I think, that we can and probably will use as part of our process to figure out, all right, how do we integrate that into a prompt so that we can generate the, the links and the prospects that we need? Quality, uh, as on that list, is a willingness to invest. And so maybe if we're thinking creatively, that means that those people who care about their marketing, because a lot of us have to do with marketing, have redesigned their website recently, let's say in the last two years. So with that as an idea, right, we don't know for sure if that's true, but it's an idea. It's almost a proxy for valuing quality and willingness to invest. Here's the search that I did. Okay, so in this search on perplexity.ai, I was coaching a copywriter who has experience working for a logistics company. So we started looking for logistics companies who would value her experience. And because we want good prospects that care about marketing, I suggested we look for companies that have recently redesigned their websites because that would show they care about marketing compared to a company with an outdated website from the last century, which would not bode well for how open they would be to creative services like copywriting. So as you can see, the prompt we used here was give me five websites for logistic companies that have been designed or redesigned in the last two years. Please include the URLs for each website. That's always a good idea to ask because otherwise they may not give it to you. And here's what we got back. So let's click on a few of these links to make sure they're real. So this first one. Yeah, that looks real. It looks updated and modern. So that's good. And we'll click on this one here. And this one, we don't know if it's real. Uh, it's going to a site that can't be reached. But what I usually do in this type of situation is just do a, a Google search. So Fendale Logistics. And then we get here a site actually that does exist. So that looks real. So 
That works. And then let's look at one more, maybe this one. Yeah, that definitely looks real. Okay, so that's good. And then finally, I want to look at the sources because sometimes that can be more valuable than the actual list. So here are the five sources that it gave us. And this one is kind of interesting, the best logistics website designs of 2021, although it looks like it was updated in 2023. And I like this, this is basically a blog post featuring a bunch of websites, some of the ones that we've looked at. And also though, you'll notice that it includes links to design firms that created those websites. So if this copywriter wanted to partner with design firms, which is a good idea, then here's the information for them as well. So yeah, see how easy this is? I mean, this is what I mean by potential clients on tap. All right. So just one example of a way to approach it. 